Hey, Bob, how you doing, buddy? All right, sure, anytime, man. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll take questions from the floor. What do you thought of his performance from Arkansas? Um, yeah, he needs to go to the NBA right now. <laughs> no, we, uh, you know what, I, I really liked him on tape, watching him uh, uh, play his previous games. Um, you know, just a young, uh, really young, good talent, you know, that plays with a great motor. Uh, it's only going to get better and better. I think the sky's the limit for, for how good he's going to be. Um, I know I think after the first game I watched him play, I went to one of our assistants and said, that's, that's a great in-state get right there to keep. That's going to be a guy that's uh, going to have a chance to uh, do some great things here. Just so hoping it wasn't tonight. He did make him look like an NBA guy tonight, you know, right off the bat. I guess he got popped up the first two games, only played 33 minutes combined against 30 the night. I guess maybe you're hoping you guys, it seemed like he played smarter than you think he Well, yes, he's been foul prone. And, uh, you know, our, again, our game plan was to come in and try to be physical with him. Anytime you have a young uh, player of that talent, uh, I think it's important that you you have some physicality with him, and uh, I think early on we did we didn't have that physicality with him, and we let him get off to a, a good start. And just like any young player, he's going to continue to be confident and uh, uh, had a great night. He's a good young talent. I mean, I've been around some really good players myself. I've been mean, blessed to be around some really good young guys that, that were agile and that could move the way he can move right now. Um, you know, LaMarcus Aldridge was a guy that we had at Texas that uh, uh, moved that way. He doesn't shoot it the way, and, and the way you know, LaMarcus shoots it, but LaMarcus didn't shoot it that way as a freshman either, you know, and stuff. So, you know, going into his sophomore year, he developed a, you know, more of a shooting range and things of that nature. But just athleticism, affecting the game on both ends of the floor and – and being a guy that can that can get up and down, he's gonna he's gonna be scared when he puts it all together and gets a gets a full year in the weight room and things of that nature. There, he's a, he's a good young talent. Well, when you're going in, uh, we want to try to have a a a, a, a presence in the paint, you know, and uh, we know that they're a team that can block shots and things of that nature. But we needed to get there not not so much create for ourselves, but we need to create for someone else as well. Uh, with with two foot plays, and then we need to get in there and try to finish some plays. And uh, um, you know, we got there. We didn't make some. We got to the foul line. We didn't make some foul foul shots as well. But 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 I, but again, our our whole you know thing is we always want to try to attack the paint and put pressure on the basket. And if we're able to establish an inside presence, then then that'll open up things for our guys that can shoot the ball from the perimeter. I think y'all hit about seven straight shots, cut from seventeen to seven with a minute to go. Uh, were you wanting to get a foul sooner than you did, or were you going for the steal there with with a minute left? Well, with a minute to go, we wanted to get it. We wanted to get a uh, a little bit of their medicine, a little bit, a little run and jump, and uh, see if we couldn't couldn't uh, possibly get a get a turnover of some type. Uh, and if we if we couldn't, then we needed to foul and put them on the line. Any other questions? Thanks, everybody. <laughs>